Hello dear friends, this is Dr. Mahmoud Aminul Islam. Welcome to my channel. In my previous video, I explained various aspects of bed, surface area and porosity analysis. These videos have been very popular. Therefore, in this video, I will explain porosity or pore size distribution curve or BJA's pore size distribution data. This video is very important, so please do not skip. Well, here is the results for bat surface area analysis. So if we go down, we see that these are the results for pore size which is adsorption average pore width 4b by a by bat which is equal to 23.86 bj its adsorption average pore width is this and bj is desorption average pore width is this so usually we report adsorption average pore width or pore diameter in nanometer so the average pore diameter of our sample is 23.86 nanometer. Now, how we will explain whether the surface is mesoporous or both meso and microporous? Now, let us see. So, in the report, if we scroll this and this is bj its adsorption cumulative pore volume this is not our pore and this is our bj is adsorption pore size distribution data so here it is pore diameter or pore width and differential volume divided by d log w pore volume centimeter cube per gram so this is your bj is adsorption pore size distribution data so you can select this and take it into origin or another excel file to draw to draw bj's adsorption pore size distribution now let us find bj's desorption pore size distribution if we scroll down like this you will get here bj's desorption pore size distribution curve so this is uh, our bj is pore size distribution curve for pore diameter and differential pore volume so if you plot this you will get another bj is desorption pore size distribution so if we plot both adsorption and desorption pore size distribution curve we can get uni modal curve or multimodal curve now i will explain how to explain unimodal and bimodal curve 